I'm Jesse. And I'm Brian. And we're in a height difference relationship with three foot of difference. People used to always tell me, oh, you should only date a little person. In fact, I think at one point, even my mom thought that she would rather have me date a little person because she thought an average size person would treat me badly. And in fact, I never in my 34 years of life dated a little person. We met online and we started talking a little bit. I thought she was very pretty when I first saw her photo. I, I knew she was a little person because it was a full body photo. After talking for a little while, we decided to meet up for dinner one night. You know, we got along really well. She just made me feel comfortable. I mean, I just knew that I could be myself 100%. We moved in a year after, so five years ago, we moved in together. And then in 2021, we actually got married at the Bahamas. So that estrophic dysplasia is a very rare type of dwarfism. Only one in one million people can get it. The main issues with being dystrophic is our arms and legs are shorter and our cartilage and all the joints get degenerated faster. Some of the things that I find the most challenging is the fact that nothing is made for me. Reaching is the hardest. Uh, opening stuff when it's too tight. Like if you didn't have your chair, you wouldn't be able to cook really. The main thing that I will struggle with is society and, you know, discrimination going out, people staring, the fact that some people believe it's okay to just come and ask very personal questions or take pictures without even asking. Someone will walk up to Yessi, you know, suddenly just pat her on the head. It seems kind of rude, but at the same time, we don't make a bigger deal of it because we don't know how some people will react to it in public. I think the fact that he's an average size person makes people be more respectful because there's someone that could stand up if it was needed. When I'm by myself, there's some parents that will come and tell the, the kid, come look, and they start pointing, and that's upsetting. I don't mind the kids being curious, that's normal, but the ignorance of adults, that is a, a trigger for me. And when it comes to us as a couple, I think the one that I have noticed the most, people making the assumption that he's my caregiver. And I'm like, uh, no, but he's not my caregiver, he's my husband. And I enjoy doing a lot of things for her. It's not something that I feel forced to do or anything like that. I do it because I love her and I would do it for anyone else, whether they had a condition or not, you know, if I love them. I find it hard sometimes to find clothes that fits me because of the length. So today, actually, Ryan and I are adjusting a shirt that I bought a couple days ago. Most of my friends and family reacted really well, actually. I was surprised. The worst thing has been actually the closer family. Although they might not tell us directly, I have learned that they make really mean comments, such as he is either crazy or stupid to be with such a disgusting person. Whether or not we should or shouldn't have children, since I'm a little person coming from a close family member telling me that regardless of how much they say they love me, it feels more like if we could choose, we, we don't want you here. When I first told my mom about Yessie's height, she was a little reserved about it. But I told her, no, I had, like I loved Yessie and I was happy with her. When I met her, I could tell, you know, that she was tense. And I'm like, that's fine. So I just said to her, I understand that I'm not the ideal person, you know, that most mothers will want for their kids. She said to Brian, are you sure you want to be with someone that you're going to wipe the butt for the rest of your life? As a result of that, we didn't speak for about six months. For me, it's huge because I know his mom is everything for him. So today she's coming over to talk about her hesitation. I'm a little bit nervous about the conversation. I had a lot of concerns. I never met anybody who was small. The way Brian put it at the beginning, it was like she was totally dependent. She's in a wheelchair. And I, I just let her think about what he was getting himself into it. So mom, I wanted to know at the beginning of our relationship why you didn't approve of us. It wasn't about the size, the height. It was more to do with the fact that you told me she's on a wheelchair. I work in the medical field. When someone says wheelchair to us, that means total care. You have to do everything for them. It's one thing to go help somebody for a day, and it's something else to do a lifetime. As a mother, I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, that's where I was coming from. I wasn't present during that conversation, but it might have been more the wording of it that was 
misunderstood or was harsh for Brian to hear? You hit it right on the head. And it was more about that. He saw it as disapproval. But in reality, it was about a commitment to do what it takes. I'm the type of person that if you're going to start something, you better do it right. And I guess me not explaining 100% what Yessie's capabilities yeah. were. After the first time you met Yessie and you saw that she drove and you know did a lot of things on her own, it got a little easier. I knew from the gig that whoever I would date, the parents would be hesitant just because I'm not the average or the ideal people that people would just picture. And so I guess the real question is like, now that me and Yessie have been together for five years, do you feel better about our relationship? Yeah, I, I see that you guys love each other, that you get along, you compliment each other. When you get to know somebody, when you get to like somebody, you don't see the height. And if you bring him happiness and you guys love each other, I'm more than happy. Come on, give me some love. Thank you so much. You have to look at people, not with your eyes, but with your heart. I always said that if they love my children, that's all it matters to Our hopes for the future and for our family is to keep the family growing, whether that's with children or with more dogs and more pets. We have talked about having children, but it's, I think that we're both back and forth between wanting to and also whether we have the time. What I love the most about him is how caring and genuine he is with me and the fact that he's just willing to go above and beyond for this relationship. We support each other, you know, it takes two people to make a good relationship and we try our best to do it. We live our lives and we're happy with our lives. That's all that matters to us. I don't want people to admire, you know, I'm not a goddess, I'm not an angel, like a lot of people say, just a person. So all I will say is respect our relationship, respect me as a person and that's it.